we all have to do something and do it quickly to shift, to put a stop to Bharat Jagdev's twisted mind and backward vision that is leading this nation into further poverty. Jagdev's understanding of Guyana's wealth is about a few citizens getting one and two day work out of it and not a good business deal for all its citizens. And if anybody dare question his leadership, he is quick to say they're chasing away investors and taking away work from our citizens. Listen the crap he continues to sell this nation last week at his press conference. But he's come back now and they form part of a narrative to chase away people, investors from this country in every sector. Glenlal, oh, you must, you're taking away the forest resources. So nobody must invest in forestry. Oh, the bauxite people are taking away our bauxite. So the people lost their jobs, the 1,000 jobs in Kwakwani, all of them lost, gone quiet. Now they're after the oil and gas industry. That's $60 billion of investment. That's maybe about 10 times the amount of investable resources we have in the whole country. Now, how are we going to get that? And then they want to chase everybody away. So, but they, they're bread well buttered. That's why I will take them on, because they're trying to harm the future of our country and our people. And that gets me worked up. That would bother me. Not a good business deal from our resources that can make all Guyana rich. A few day walk here and there is what is cemented in his warped mind. And this is what he has cultivated in his minister's head. Jobs. A day walk. Listen to the finance guru of Guyana. Boasting about bringing in the largest gold diggers of the world into our country. You know how significant Omai was. Contemplate for a moment three large scale developments, each of which is larger than Omai. Consider for a moment that each one of these will probably be employing more than a thousand Guyanese persons. Consider the food and other supplies that they will need, the transport services, the construction services, the equipment supply and maintenance services, and all of the multiplier benefits that three large-scale gold mining operations will generate in Guyana. Jobs will lift Guyana out of poverty, not the right percentage from our riches. <laughs> this is what... They have been doing with our gold, diamonds, bauxite, timber, manganese, now our US trillion dollar oil. Getting some of your jobs. Walk. Fence the oil projects. Put meters at the pump. Demand all our taxes. Cap the interest rates on Exxon investments and no Guyanese got to walk, much less do dog walk. And them call themselves economists, while some of you call them great leaders. Then, you have on the other hand, Ramjatan and Norton holding press conference or and rallies. Complaining about cost of living. <laughs> I got their supporters clapping away. <claps> Cheers. Are you in good hands? Keep your finger for them next year they're coming faith.